Hello friends, welcome back. I'm more than excited that you're here today. Today we're in store for a very special episode. We're going to be making a website in under 10 minutes to help emphasize your brand and level up your business. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started making this beautiful website, if this is your first time here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe and join the Startup Squad. We release weekly content to help level up small businesses, help people live happier, more productive lives, with the overall goal of doing more of what matters to them. Today's video is gonna be broken down into five steps, from signing up to publishing your website. By the end of today's video, you'll have a personalized, stunning website marketed to your target audience. Step one is to navigate to Weebly.com and sign up. Although there are numerous free website builders, which I talk about in this video here, I found that Weebly is one of the most easy to use and covers essentially every business type. My personal website is built using Weebly. Once you've added your information, Weebly is going to ask you if you would like to build a business website or a personal website. The only true difference here is if you select, I want to build a business website, Weebly is going to add a store page on your website where you can sell products and services online. In the future, we're gonna create a video on how to make an online store. For the purposes of today's video, we're gonna select, create a personal website. The store component can be added anytime in the future. Step two is to choose a theme. Themes are essentially website templates. Websites are made up of pages and sections. Examples of pages are home, about, contact us, where sections are the parts within each page. For instance, images, text, and forms. By choosing a theme, Weebly is going to create pages and sections that best match your industry. I would recommend choosing your business type up here and then selecting the style that most speaks to you. Moving on to step three, we are going to add a domain name. Go ahead and add your business name. You'll then have the option to select any available domain name by selecting choose. If you decide on a professional domain name, you will have to upgrade to the paid version of Weebly. Personally, I use the performance package. It allows me to have my own unique non-branded URL, removes all Weebly ads, and allows you to sell products and services on your website through Google Pay and PayPal. In today's video, let's navigate back to the domain selection page and choose the free version. If you choose the free version, your domain name will include weebly.com after your business name, but no worries, after you design your website, you can always upgrade this at any time. Go ahead and become familiar with the user interface. Here is where you can view all your pages. You can change page names simply by selecting them you can even change the order by clicking and dragging each page. Lastly, here's the drag and drop editor where you can add sections onto each page. We'll cover this later in the video. Step four is the fun part. You get to design and choose the pages you want on your website. Personally, I believe every website should have three key pages, home, about, and contact. Let's begin to design our homepage. You can start by selecting my site at the top of your page. Here is where you can add your business name into your header. The header will show on the top of each page on your website. Next, update your banner by adding your company's motto or mission. This is going to be the first thing your visitors see when they navigate to your page, so make sure it's clear and concise. Next, move down to the following section and share some information about your business. I always like to welcome the members to the website and then add a short description of who we are. You can easily upload your own images by double clicking the stock photo and selecting replace image. For this one, let's select a photo of Bob being all happy. I recommend uploading a photo of you smiling or doing what you would like your website to represent. Keep in mind, this might be the first time your viewers meet you and so put on a smile. Next, you'll notice that your homepage might have all these additional sections. If you would like to remove any of these, simply hover over the top portion of that section and select delete. 
Now that your visitors know who you are and you welcome them to your website with your smiling face, now's a very important moment to engage them further along through the process of your website. We're gonna add a simple navigation tool. I'll show you what I mean. Make sure build is selected on your left-hand side and drag a section onto the middle of your page. Once here, look for something with separate images and text. Let's use this one. Now we're gonna use this layout to add links to your home, about, and contact pages. I traditionally add the page names here and upload a corresponding photo. Then simply select the photo and link that photo to the next page on your website. Now, when that photo is selected, it will move the user to that next page. The last feature of our home page is gonna be a section that should be at the bottom of each of your website pages. It's gonna be a contact us button. This way, your viewers can reach you. Similar to the photos above, when selected, this will navigate the user to your contact page. So we have successfully updated all of our photos. One secret feature of Weebly is you can actually update the background of a section. To do this, select the section in any area where there's no text and select Edit Background. And voila, you have built a beautiful, captivating homepage. Now let's create your contact page. You can navigate to the contact page by either clicking contact in the header or selecting pages then contact. This page will be fairly easy to make as you can see your header transferred over from your initial homepage. Here is where you can add information like your store hours, business location, or a form to contact you. If the theme you initially selected does not have a place to add this, simply drag and drop the sections you need for additional information. This is an excellent place to add your forms to social media, and like the photos before, you can even link this text directly to a URL or an email address. Our final, final step is to publish your website. You can do this by selecting the publishing button. And just like that, you have an outstanding website to share with your customers and take your business to the next level. Bonus tip, if you'd like to easily share your website with others, Weebly includes some easy buttons to post on other social media platforms. And a secret bonus bonus tip. If you wanna get extra fancy, you can actually get a free QR code from QR Code Generator and put it on your business card, your banner, or right next to your logo to drive more traffic to your website. If you haven't made a logo before, check out this video here and we'll walk through how to make a logo in just five steps. And that's all for today, team. Thanks for joining us in today's video. Comment below some of the links of the websites you make. I'd love to check them out. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. And start small, start today.